Hi, I'm Nancy with Factory Direct Crafts and today we're working on this project, the Merry and Bright Banner. And for this project you're going to need these materials. You're going to need some red felt, some stencils, the Martha Stewart 4 inch letters was the ones that I used, the two strand silver garland, scissors and a pen, some straight pins, and your sewing machine, a, a small dowel, a glue gun, little silver ribbon, and some fiber fill. And when you get all that together, let's get started. Okay, we're going to sew our Merry and Bright banner. Now, this is going to be really nice. It's really cute hanging on your fireplace or on garland or whatever, You'll, or over your front door. First thing you need to do is trace the letters. And I should show you, see how I doubled this? Just fold it over and go a little bit from the edge because you're going to actually cut on the, on the line that you're doing, okay? Just start tracing the letter. And you can just use a regular pin because this is going to be on the back then, okay? And there we go. And you only need to tra trace the letter once for both sides because you have it doubled over. But let me tell you the trick. It doesn't show on this, but on all the other letters that um, are reversed, like an R, you would need to trace it this way, backwards, because you don't want the ink pen to show on the front. It'll be on the back where nobody will see it, okay? So did you get what I meant? You trace the letter upside down. It's just that it doesn't show on the T, okay? And so I pinned this together because I don't want this felt to move at all. If you try to cut out two T's and sew them together, you end up with a mess. But if you sew them together like this, I'm going to go into my sewing machine and sew right on this line with it all still together like this. And then I'll come back and we'll go be on our way. Okay. Now I ran this on my sewing machine. And I want you to see how I sewed right on that ink line. Okay, that's where my sewing line was. I found this works really good. Now what I'm going to do is cut this a little bit on the outside of that. Like, uh, I don't know, 3 8 or so. Maybe not even that much. Just a little bit. Not only is it making it so these letters are just good and and sewn really straight and together but it makes them a little bit bigger looking too I tried cutting out two T's and sewing them together and that was a disaster this just works way better it looks way better more professional looking okay and like I said before that ink line is going to be on the back okay, and then see how you do you leave I left that bottom open because I'm going to fill it with the stuffing now on some letters that are more are have more curves and stuff to them, you're going to need to leave an opening at the top too, like the G and the, maybe the R. I, or the R, you can leave both of the bottom ones open. That's how I did it on that, and that worked great. But you'll, you'll see, you'll get the hang of it as you're doing this. And what I've done is I stuff it with my fingers a little bit at first, get a whole bunch there. And then you take your dowel and then poke it in, just like this. And you get a hunk down in there. 
once you get a bunch in there, kind of fold it and push. Use my finger too. And when you get enough down in there, there we go, now I can really push it. Go all the way down and then guide it around the corner. Okay. This is probably the most time consuming part of this job, but it's not bad. And it turns out so cute. With filling them with the fiber fill, it just gives it dimension. It looks good. See how you go around the corner like that? And that's what you're going to do for the whole letter. Here's one here I've got all done. See, here's the back side and here's the front. Okay. Now here's the opening and you can just go back and sew that right on your sewing machine and finish that off. And I'm going to go do that right now. Now I've got that sewn at the bottom so it's all done, ready to go. Now I'm going to cut a little piece of silver trim about two and a quarter inches long I think is what I have been doing this. And I'm going to just glue it. Make sure you get it on the back. Yeah. Put a little hot glue there. And then I'll put some more on top. Get that glued down. And this is what it's going to be strung on then. Make sure you get it centered so that it hangs even. Okay, there. Now I just find the end of my string here that I have my other letters on already. There we go. And I string it on, make sure I get it on. All right. Like this. And it's all done. I know you're going to enjoy having this hanging in your home. It's really a cute decoration and also it would be a cute gift to make to give to someone. Hope you have a good time doing that.